Hi, I'm Lisa Gibson and I'm the Conflict Coach. I'm an award-winning author, attorney, and certified trainer in how to manage workplace conflict. Workplace environments are becoming increasingly diverse. I mean, this should, should come as no surprise, uh, but is of course a logical byproduct of globalization. Globalization describes the process by which regional economies, societies, and cultures have become integrated through a global network of political ideas, through communication, transportation, and trade. A natural byproduct of globalization is more diverse workplaces. So what is needed in our increasingly diverse workplace is more cultural competence. I mean, at the core of this is the importance of dealing with ambiguity. I mean, culture is by nature complex. I mean, part of the key is to learn to navigate the complexity by learning to move between cultural paradigms. I mean, at the heart of cultural com competency is knowing what you don't know and learning to understand what others' expectations are. I mean, this requires the intention of being a learner. You must learn to ask questions so that you can begin to see issues from the other person's perspective. It's only through communication that we begin to understand our commonalities. I mean, learning to effectively do cross-cultural management will maximize the chance that your multi multicultural workplace will be productive, efficient, and harmonious. And this will minimize things like worker alienation that can result from misunderstandings of etiquette, values, and behaviors. It can eliminate costly discrimination suits that arise from poor communication and worker alienation. And it also can eliminate unnecessary terminations that result from communication breakdown and misinterpretation of the employee's behavior. And it also can eliminate your manager's reluctance to hire and work with culturally diverse workers. And of course, there's always the elimination of the racism and discrimination that can result from misinterpretation of behaviors from others. There's all kinds of benefits also. Uh, there's things like better communication despite accent and language barriers. Um, the benefits of, of more effective motivation of workers through the accurate interpretation of behaviors and the design of culturally aware motivation strategies. And then there's also the issue of um, you know, in improving the accurate evaluation of culturally diverse applicants and employees through a better understanding of their presentation styles, behaviors, and language facility. But in the end, the, the biggest value is more harmony in the workplace through the understanding of uh, motivations and perspectives of others. It's an improvement all across the board. And I want to give you a free copy of one of our of a one-of-a-kind training I've done, what's called what's called How to Save Your Business Lots of Money by Preventing Cross-Cultural Workplace Conflict. So just go to uh, conflictcoach.biz and sign up today and get your free copy. And again, I'm Lisa Gibson and thanks for listening.